hello everyone welcome back to the channel i am nisha for those who are new and for those who already been here with a two baby boo welcome back to the channel we are doing the first look for our april month our april birthstone and we are using the palette diamond because diamonds are a girl's best friend so when this first came out i did like only one look using this palette because I wasn't really, what's the word, excited or inspired by the color story in this palette because she's cute to a certain extent, but I feel like for this particular palette, BH repeated a lot of the same shade ranges. So like being that this is the actual birthstone color, diamond, why do we have another silver and another one? And this is supposed to be a pressed glitter. But it could have been something else and being that these two silvers are semi different this still could have been something else so i don't know how many looks i'm going to be doing this whole entire month being that this is the april birthstone palette but i'm going to try my best to do at least more than one look that i did the first time using this palette so we're going to zoom in and get right into this makeup look all right so what and how i want to go with this palette I'm already knowing because I tried this palette out before. The browns and the pink don't really show up on me, so I'm gonna do my best to do what I do with this makeup look. Problem crease is already on, so we're gonna go straight into the obvious color, which is going to be, I guess, this black. So this black does have a little bit of like reflex of like sparkles to it. So it's not a true matte black, but it still is going to get this job done. So we'll just place that right in my crease. And I can pretty much see the reflex of the beautiful glitters that's in here. So it appears matte formula wise, but you still see a little bit of sparkles. So I'm just going to place that right in the crease. And to help blend out this black, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this shade right here. I want to be brown. <laughs> it's not gonna appear brown for me, but I'm just gonna take that and we're gonna blend out this black. And I might need to add a little bit more black to make it, you know, flow a little bit better. But right now, I just want to get this crease going. And then if needed, I am going to go back in with that black and kind of like fade it up. I'm gonna go in with the shade Stunning. Let's go ahead and apply her a little bit down. And I'm just gonna place that towards the outer. Of course, more towards like the, um, the center part as well. I did get a little sloppy with this eyeshadow and that's because of the brush I'm using. So I'm gonna go back in with a finer brush, more flat. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges area. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of that towards the outer. and stuff like that so now for me for me so now for my inner tear duct i think i'm gonna go in with a matte shade to kind of like balance and throw the look off just a little bit should i do matte white or the pink i 
what's the other what can i do let's do the pink let's go in with the pink i think that would definitely like give a nice little spin All right, so this is what the eye look is giving. I'm a little upset that my camera's kind of like washing the colors off. But like if I put like a blue blockage over here, you can see a little bit more of the pink. So what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna do a nice little wing, finish up the rest of my face, and I'm gonna come back and finish up the eye. And of course, whatever else I'm gonna show on this tutorial for today. All right, so I'm going to finish up the face before I finish up the rest of my eyes. But right now, this foundation, that i have on i look a little um, pale and i think i didn't color correct it and bronze my face and everything so we got just some little tweaking and stuff to make this balance out for me so i'm going to contour bronze with my juvia i did it a little but i think i'm gonna go a little bit heavy especially with that dark shade and just kind of bronze up my face I only do this part when my foundation is too light. And then I am going to go for, I will be trying out the Michaela Pot 2 Lip Trio. I don't remember what color it was, but I want to give it a go. So this pencil is definitely not going to do anything for me. So I'm going to go for a lip pencil that I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to go in with my NYX pencil. I'm gonna pop this all over. All right, and then this is the lipstick shade, very pale nude color. All right, and of course you can tell she's very, very much so pale. So I'm just gonna go back in with my pencil. And then of course I'm just gonna go in with the gloss that came with this trio. I like this lip combo. Okay, so now we're gonna bring some more warmth back into my face. But before I do that, let me finish up my eyes. So for the bottom part of my lash line, I'm just gonna go in with that dark black. And I'm just gonna pop her right down on the bottom lash line. look how that looks so if you don't want to sexify the eyes you can leave it simple with just a little bit of um black pencil in the waterline and maybe like pop some mascara and it will not make this look so dramatic and sexy but y'all know me i go all the way out when it comes to these makeup looks so i definitely love how this is sexifying the eyes so we're gonna smoke it out And then for my inner tear duct, I'm going in with some glitter glue. I'm gonna pop it right in my inner. And then the shade I want to go for, let's go ahead and pop a little bit of diamond. So I have diamond, but I'm gonna go right on top of diamond with that pink. So I'm kind of like making my own frosty pink shade. I'm 
All right, and then for my cheeks, I'm gonna go in with this new blush from ColourPop. This one is called Super Shock Blush Mad, but this is in the shade Holiday. For some reason, when I first hauled this blush, it looks a little bit more <laughs> darker than it does today. Today it looks really like a neon pink shade, and it was looking more orange. Uh oh, it's barely picking up. Oh Jesus! You will go back without a doubt. Oh Lord, it's not really, okay. Let's see what this do. Are these cream? Or just a mat? What the? What kind of formula is this? What? It's not sand, but it's also not really. It has like a. What the? That didn't go as planned. Okay, moving along. I think that was a cream or something. I don't know, but it's just not working. I want to go in with this instead. I know for sure this gives me my blush life. So let's pop her on. All right, and then I'm going to highlight with my No Other Broken Highlighter by Kuki. I always laugh because I always feel like I say this brand is so wrong, but <laughs> it is what it is. But it's a beautiful gold highlighter that's completely broken up. All right, now I want to go in with my everyday stay. This is called everyday vacay setting spray. All right, my love. So this is going to complete the look. I really do hope you guys liked and enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. I am feeling a little bit more inspired with this palette. I don't know. I just felt like two years ago, Nisha was a whole different Nisha. Like this Nisha, I'm definitely mature now into my makeup. So I feel more flirtatious when I do my makeup looks now. Because I'm going to show y'all what I recreated, okay? <laughs> Yes, the eyebrows again, they was very boxy. I was going through something that year and no one, none of you guys was honest enough to tell me, hey, what's going on with the Myron's? Because, ooh, and the blending and everything, I was into these dramatic like bottom lashes, which is still, you know, they're cute and everything, but that was like on a whole nother level, like a Barbie doll, dolly, dolly style of look, but. I still like my dramaticness, cut crease and stuff like that, but just more in a calm down way, okay? <laughs> but anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. I hope you guys have this palette and give it a try because you need to go dust a little dust off of her because honestly, out of the Birthstone palette so far, I would say so far, because this is where I stopped. <laughs> When I started um, doing like this little birthstone series, this is where I stopped. I think I did like one more month, which was like mid like June or something like that. But this is where I had stopped. I had started to get uninspired because I wasn't really feeling the color story with this one. But after doing this look, I can see a couple more looks coming out of this palette. My crease might still look the same because it's only really one dark shade that I can do. But I can also do some more like non-cut crease looks and do more of a smoky eye. Maybe a smoky pink or this smoky nude, whatever color this is. It's so peculiar. I don't know. But it's, I would be interesting to see how it looks like all over the eyelid. So, yes, I can see myself coming back for some more looks using this Zyman. Okay. Zyman. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. And of course, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.